if I had to die in this fantasy, if I had to die a gruesome death in this fantasy world, at the very least, I would want it to be by big titted Amazonian women. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Don Machi, season two, episode nine, called Berbera or Berbera. Uh, war prostitutes last episode we found out that the renard haruhime is going to be used as a sacrifice to enhance this killing stone to give her special powering up renard uh magic the yojutsu to all the peoples to all of the ishtar family specifically so we can fight freya and actually do something because she's nasty but bell is obviously the fulcrum of all of this because he is what freya he's like this is just actually crazy how how we ended up getting involved in this with Makoto knowing Haruhime and with Bell being the weird prize for both Ishtar for all Ishtar Freya and Phryne. Don't even remind me of that. But without any further ado, I say we hop into this episode. If you guys want early access and full length to this show, all the other shows I'm watching, the Patreon is always available to you guys down below. We are four episodes ahead currently on Patreon. If you guys are new here, make sure to subscribe, join the Dapper Squad, and follow me on all my social medias, Twitch, Instagram, and Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Let's hop into this, guys. Don Machi, Season 2, Episode 9, Berbera, War Prostitutes. Yeah, he's obviously very disappointed in himself that he wouldn't risk everything to uh, save Haruhime, yeah. Which, I can't blame him, that's huge implications to the people you love, is uh, starting a war like that, you know? It's a good question right there, Bell. I wish I had an answer for you, my friend. His chastity. His chastity is definitely in danger when it comes to Phryne. Fuck that. Bell's down in the dumps. Damn, I feel bad, but like... You could still be that hero, Mr. Argonaut. Mr. Argonaut Coon, you forget about your special powers. Come on, you could still be the hero. I think he just came to a resolve. Look at that smile. Willing to uproot his entire life to save someone that means that much to him. You know, it's a good dude right there. It's a good dude. You don't need to tell her. You're going to show her. You're going to be the hero you guys admired. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> Aisha was right. Straight up bold attack. I hope all of those women were burned to a crisp. Absolute incinerated. <laughs> Looks like something's up. You guys want some help? <laughs> Should you really be standing here? Why don't you leave the gate unoccupied? Uka's <laughs> had enough of the conversations. So I think he's purposefully aiming at the ground not to incinerate these women, but you know, I want them to. But it makes sense. He's just trying to get away as far as he can. Ooh. Ooh. Some tools at her disposal. Makoto. Ooh. A little distraction. Ooh. Stab her in the neck. Okay, Makoto's nasty. Oh, wow, that's a big axe. Let's 
Let's actually kill her. Even though she's so strong. She's a level 5. She beat eyes at one point. This is gonna be a hard fight. I would fight Aisha any day of the week though. What you gotta say, Ishtar? That is pretty big, especially in front of Ishtar. So, is it? A, it's obviously a temporary level up, right? But to go from a level 3 to a 4 is nuts. They're kind of petty, but understandable when you're a god. You know, when you're an actual conceited goddess. She is not wrong there. That's an interesting take. It's like it's a necessary evil, you know? Hestia was not wrong when she said Bell's chastity is in danger. Imagine if Freya saves Bell from Ishtar. This is somebody with the resolve of likes you've never seen. She. Crystal, yeah. Oh. This is something different from Realis Rephrase. It just sounded similar, so I'd assume it was just like a mistranslation. It crystallizes emotion. She's literally butt ass naked trying to charm him, and he did not fall for that at all. Bye-bye them. One girl got her ass chucked off the side. I... This is definitely not an uncommon situation to happen in anime by any means. In which an abused slash... Somebody from a very traumatic situation is trying to be saved by some friends, whereas saving this traumatic, this, this saving this person from the situation would cause a lot of trouble, trouble for the friends. And so the person in this traumatic experience does not want to be saved because because they feel like they are willing to accept the sacrifice of themselves in order to save their friends, whereas their friends are willing to sacrifice themselves to save their friends. So it's a never ending cycle of just love that is net. I, it sucks because both sides are right and they and you know it's it just sucks like this rem reminds me of my hero season four specifically you guys know what i'm talking about no spoilers but very very reminded of that situation in which uh, there was a lot that needed to get done in order to save that person from that situation so i you know i don't think anybody in this group thinks of you like that knowing it would put him in danger yeah that I, I get it. Like I said, I get it, but... I don't... Yeah, this is not going to plan at all. So either Freya's gonna come in and do some shit, or... Something's gonna happen.
That's the killing stone. That's the ritual dagger, I'm guessing. Oh, you put the stone on the bottom of the dagger in the hilt. And then what I'm guessing, when you stab it, the blood maybe goes through it. Or maybe the soul, because it's the soul. Interesting. Makoto wasn't lying. She's not done. Is this uh, Samira, who Franny was saying earlier? Yeah. Which is funny, because I swear Samira is... She's also in League of Legends, but I swear she's an Amazonian woman as well. And Oh, God. Oh, God. He is supposed to wait to destroy the stone. So he has to wait for the opportune moment, which the full moon is now just popped up at its peak. I like Take Mikazuchi has the whole ninja aesthetic with his whole familia, but that's very cool. The loyalty. She's gonna keep reciting this incantation. You're not gonna stop her. Lead me from the highest heavens and grant my tiny body the almighty power of the divine. A spontaneous magical discharge? Just like a magic explosion. She said, fuck it. You think Bell's gonna let you do that, Sheree? Knock that out of her hand. Get out of here. I am still worried about Aisha and Phryne right here, though. Phryne's still nasty. Good. Good. Oh my, that episode felt hella quick, what? Well, I didn't write down a single thing that episode, but man, that was, uh, I, man, I felt like nothing happened. I felt like it was so quick, what the hell? We've, I mean, a lot did happen, but then a lot didn't happen as well. We're continuing uh, with the attack. We decided no matter what the implications are, we're gonna save Haruhime, so Bell and Makoto are going ham. Makoto's plan ultimately failed, but I love how not only is she a friend from her childhood that's why she wants to save her so hard so bad because she's not much she has from her childhood left but also due to her helping her in her childhood making her happy she wants to return the favor but you know it's like she got takemi kazuchi's blessing to, I, I swear she said she got the blessing to try to help um specifically to try to help haruhime right and then haruhime was helping them with the food or maybe she just happened to get she was just chilling because uh, their families were poor. They didn't have a lot of money. They were around where the shrine where Takemikazushi was a god, obviously. But I, I don't think they had the statuses yet. I think they got that later. So, like, it's just crazy how f full circle this comes with Takemikazuchi, with uh, Mikoto, with Haruhime. Just that's what friends do, you know? Like, and it just relates back to what I said earlier about how she wants to sacrifice herself to not bring trouble to her friends, whereas their friends are going to sacrifice themselves by bringing trouble to themselves to save their friend like it's a never-ending cycle they want to save you you want to save them <laughs> it i feel bad for both of them both of them are slightly in the right even you know it's just a horrible situation in which we find ourselves upon but i am glad the stone is broken i don't know what's going to happen with makoto she's a badass as always uh, I just I, th I think I'm just gonna find out what, what's in this next episode. I have to. So with that being said, I'm gonna end it here. If you guys want early access, full length, check out that Patreon down below. If you guys did enjoy this, please leave a like. Let me know your comments. Of course, don't forget to follow me on all my social medias: Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram at Dapper Darius. And subscribe if you guys are new. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. <laughs>